Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, this ain't no clickbait. Enjoy your life. Live it up. Don't let anybody get in your way. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And put on your seatbelt, because it's one hell of a ride. Hey, y'all. We out and about again. What's up, y'all? We out and about. About to get some food for a mukbang. Yes. I'm about to tear this up, y'all. We're we are getting Roscoe's chicken and waffles. And look, y'all. I just the first time getting something I've never had this before. Giblets. Oh my god. I'm about to give me some giblets. I've never had. I've never even had chicken liver. I've had. Um, tell the people what the giblets are for those, okay. those who don't know. Let me tell y'all what giblets are. This is chicken giblets. They are gizzards, which is something that is in the chicken stomach that digest the food or chumps up the food whatever heart i ain't never had nobody's heart i mean i've had plenty of people's hearts but i'm saying i ain't never ate a heart i never ate plenty damn okay <laughs> i never ate a heart okay and liver chicken liver so and neck oh and neck that's the only part that i would eat out of the, the giblet i love chicken necks but i don't want the heart the I heart don't I don't want and the then heart. gizzards are what did they say it was gizzards are something that a muscle Oh, a muscle that that um like chops up the food to digest it. Okay, before, before it gets digested. Right. So it's not the it's not it, it don't have no doo doo in it. Mm -hmm. And the liver is what it filters. The liver filters blood. I think toxins in the blood or some shit like y'all know what the liver is. That's something nasty. like that. That's, that's just nasty. it is. That's why liver tastes like blood. You eating a whole blood bunch blood. of cooked blood. A blood. Please sack. don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm about to eat this. <laughs> okay. She messed up the McDonald's video, y'all. Oh, sorry. Come on, leave okay. me alone. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Rick. Whew. Well, you still eat hot dogs when I say it's like ear crust and everything, so I figured you'd be okay. All right, y'all, so we about to go pick up this food. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead, lesbian. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Don't show her, babe. Why? I don't know. She being shown in real life? I never, I, mean, I don't get that. She being shown in real life? Yeah, like mean, anybody like, who's on the street can see her right now, so what's the difference? There is no difference, I guess. <laughs> if you really think I mean, about it. I mean, as long as she ain't dating her nose and doing nothing crazy. I, I mean, but still, you doing it in public. That's true. You know what that's I mean? That's true. I guess whatever you do in public is... Right. Everybody that's out here can see her doing it. So, it's, you could be recorded, too. Somebody asked me what... what where did I get this? Um, this is from... It's called Junk Brand um, Head... Whatever they call it. Head, headbands because uh, she had George Jefferson. Her George Jeffersons are showing Oh, okay. Be she don't even be looking when she get out the uh, car, y'all. That should be irritating the f*** out of me. I'm like, dang, I ain't got time for you to be getting hurt. Shit. We can't even go to the hospital, though, so if something happens, like when we be cooking, we be like, if something happens, you just gonna be fingerless because we ain't going to the hospital to get corona. You just ain't gonna have no finger. We gonna have to wrap it up. Okay, wrap it up. I guess it ain't ready yet, y'all. Are you supposed to be showing me? You showing the trees. What's up, y'all? What you want? What happened? Uh, they said they're working on it right now, and give him a second. Oh, okay. Can you get the get what? Oh, Roscoe sign. Chicken and waffles, right there. Chicken and waffles. Here's Roscoe's chicken and waffles, and then we got something up here that says chicken and waffles. I don't see what the rock. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and what else we got over here? We got chic. The shoe store. I don't know if it's still open. I guess it is still open. I, I, I don't know if it's open or not, y'all. It's not open, open right now, but whew, the sun is killing me. <sighs> All right, y'all. So we're waiting in the car for food. So I wanted to ask y'all a couple questions. One, we got a lot of people. Saying, I got a question. Who be sitting here sniffing their breath the whole time when the mask is on? That's just, you have to. That's the thing. You can't help but and that shit is going. I know. But okay, I'm, I'm so nervous. a lot of people from our last video said that they didn't understand why people were wearing masks and they thought it was unnecessary. Really? Not beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. A few people said that. So oh, okay. I wanna know what y'all think. I wanna just ask the question to see how, who out here wearing who's not wearing masks? And why not? People are saying that um like the couple people that I looked at said like it's not helping basically. 
It, you still okay. you still might get oh one person said we been had the flu and uh, pneumonia and why are we just now wearing uh, masks now basically um, we could wear a mask during the flu and pneumonia that's true and there's nothing wrong with that if you mm -hmm. choose to do it it's just that um, we built up an immunity to the flu and also we have vaccines for it some people get it some people don't mm -hmm. nobody had a vaccine for um, or immunity for COVID that's why so many people are dying. Mm -hmm that's the reason um i'm gonna wear my mask because if someone has um the virus and they cough and i have on a mask those droplets are less likely to get into my nasal or oral right. orifice mm -hmm. okay that's why right um, and so if you have if i'm around somebody and we both have no mask then there's a certain risk factor if one person has a mask, it lessens. And if we both have a mask, it's even less. So why would you not protect yourself yeah. as much as possible? Yeah. You know, hopefully the person that's coughing got a mask on too. So y'all yeah. can be doubly protected. Right. You know, not saying it's a hundred percent guarantee, but why not. not protect yourself? Mm -hmm. Why not try to do everything you can to protect yourself? Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. So that was one thing. And another thing, um, a lot of places are talking about reopening. Some place, I think some places have started to reopen. I don't think we have at all in California. No. Um, but they're talking about it. Mm -hmm. So, what do y'all think about that? I feel like it's too early to be reopening this stuff. And until I see the numbers of p cases really low, mm -hmm. like real low, to me it's like you're starting it back up again. Right. If it's still around, it's lingering, why are we feeling like it's okay to reopen stuff? So, they say Georgia, I don't know where else, but I know that one place is Georgia. They opened up nail shops, beauty salons, barber shops. Places where you have to be in very, very close, close proximity to the other person, but they're still saying you still have to follow the guidelines of six feet. I don't know how your barber is going to cut your hair from six feet. I don't know how long his clippers are, but I ain't never seen <laughs> six foot clippers. It? I don't know. I don't know how long the bitch nails are that's going to do you, woman, that's going to do your nails. She going to hold, I don't know. But in California, they're saying that they're going to start with opening up non-essential businesses. Mm -hmm. I don't know what non-essential businesses mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. But they I'm definitely sure. said it's not going to be barber shops and beauty salons. They said so maybe nothing. Like she could be open. Maybe maybe the mall. I mean, mm -hmm. you can go get clothes. The mall. That's too many people. I don't think the mall. No, that's okay. too many people that can be in close proximity. If the mall opens, it's a be. bunch yeah, of people true. all There's crowded no together. They so no, it. they're okay. still going. They said they're still going to follow the guidelines where you got to stay ten feet or six feet from people and all that. So the okay. mall will be idiotic. I mean, you can let ten people in the mall at a time, but I don't right. think they're going to do that. That don't make sense. Okay, but I don't know. They might. Maybe. I don't know. We'll be open. Banks. I don't know if banks are closed, are they? I don't know. I haven't tried to go to one. I don't know are if banks, banks are closed or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, people need that money, you know what I'm saying? But we can go to that. ATMs, but I don't know. Yeah. Some people don't even carry a card. Like, I know some other people don't carry cards at all. They just go straight to the bank. But who out there, if these places open or are open where you um, are, are ready to go? Ready to go get their nails done and their hair done? And don't care. That's more important. Mm -hmm. I'd rather look a little tattered for a little while. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go with tattered. Looking tattered for a minute. Until I can feel safe going. I don't even know when I'm going to go back to the nail shop, honestly. I would do your I'm not sure when I'm going to go back. Yeah. When y'all going back? Me? No. Oh, yeah. When y'all going, going to go back to get your nails done? Not me. I cut my own hair. Well, when I did have my hair cut, I cut my own hair, so I would have been fine. I think it's too early, and I'm not sure. But, I, what I, but the point is, I wanted to find out what people think. When is a good time? Do you want it to be at zero, no cases? Like, what, right. how do how do you feel? Yeah. Vaccine out, and cases at what percent? Who gonna get the vaccine? I want to know that. Yeah, who gonna who get, get the vaccine? The vaccine? I don't feel like I want I to. The, vaccine. the last time I, I three years ago, I got pneumonia, I think, and it was bad. Um, my doctor keeps telling me to get the flu shot. She keeps saying you need to get the flu shot, and the, they have a pneumonia shot. She mm -hmm. keeps saying get the shot, but I don't, I don't want to be inactivated doo doo going inside. I just don't doo -doo. want it. But I know when I got that pneumonia, or I think, I don't even know if it was pneumonia, y'all, because I went to urgent care, and she said it's either bronchitis or pneumonia. She didn't even rule it out. She was just like, take this. This will help you if you got pneumonia. So, I don't know. I just don't want, I kind of, I don't want to get it, so it's kind of, you kind of want to get the vaccine, but it's like, I don't really know what's in it. What I'm worried about is that 
the, the vaccine is new. I ain't trying to be the guinea pig for a new vaccine That's so y'all can see if everything is okay. No, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know no if this is real news or fake news, but I know they were trying that vaccine in Africa. Really? Africa was like, yeah, they were first trying, they were doing to try to do, they were trying to do the trial in Africa. And, and the, the, the prime minister or whoever the hell, somebody in Africa was like, no, don't. We, we didn't start here right. How they so going don't try to fix it yeah they was like it didn't start here so don't try to start it here go to where it started you know why that is y'all because they try to basically treat the darker complected as if they are a lower class human that's true let's go take this over there and, and test it on them as if you're the next step from like a monkey or or a rat. I mean, no. What I'm saying is because they test things on those types of animals, so they the next step. Oh, here come our food, y'all. Hold on, y'all. We gotta check it because last time they they left some stuff out. So here's our mukbang food, you guys. We got it all ready. We got fried chicken, fried liver, um, greens, yams. Macaroni and cheese, cornbread. We got some rice and gravy over there that y'all can't see. We got some potato salad. And this biscuit came with the rice and gravy, so I don't know what we're gonna do with that. But we're about to eat. You ready, baby? Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, y'all. Check out the mukbang on the main channel. Gang, gang. <laughs>